Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Roll Hit Die presents our Monday night game of Cape City Chronicles. It's our Monday's Mutant in the Masterminds game. Um, before we jump into tonight's episode, uh, I'll give my typical shout outs. Uh, you're allowed to see all the artwork we have uh, displayed here, as well as any maps we have or some situational awareness for our players, thanks to Roll 20. Roll 20 allows us all, for the most part, to even play together, since most of us are in other spots in the states. Um, also, it's the DM keep uh, show us what we're fighting, uh, show us where we're fighting at, or just out and out, just show some nice artwork uh, that they're wanting to use, like the postcard we created here. <clears throat> Second, we have a Hero Forge is another one I'd like to give a shout out to. Uh, currently in this campaign, we don't have any Hero Forge uh, tokens made, but Hero Forge allows you to create a custom miniature that you can have sent to your address, or as your subscriber, you can get, turn around and have a digital version made that you can use in your digital game, such as on Roll Twenty, Foundry, or Fantasy Grounds. And our last shout out is to Gooey Cube. Gooey Cube, I believe, just finished their backer plan from the Kickstarter they had. So if you have a chance to do that, uh, check that out. Uh, go to gooeycube.com and check that out. Uh, we did get a, an announcement for them that um, they have. I shared it and forgot the actual dates. Let me go back and look at it. Well, they have a GooeyCon coming up. Uh, it's GooeyCon Online 2024. Where'd it go? Why didn't it pop? There it is. And it'll take place on August 2nd through the 4th. So if you go to check out uh, GooeyCon online, or you go check the GooeyCube.com, you can find out all the information you need to about the Gooey uh, GooeyCon online. There's going to be some games and other things involved. I don't have all the exact details, but it is all good. The whole weekend passes for a low, low price is $25. So go check GooeyCube.com and see what they have available. Uh, let's see. That's it for the typical shout-outs. So let's just go ahead and do our actual sponsors. We have two of those. Uh, first sponsor is W Energy. They are a good manufacturer practice certified product that is formulated to give you focus without jitters or crash. Has uh, no calories, no sugars, and no fillers. Use the code ROLLHITDIE at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. And you can find them at W.GG. Uh, our other sponsor is Humble Bundle. They are a website that sells games, ebooks, software, and other digital products. Their mission is to support charity while providing awesome content. Use the same code or hit die to let them know where you heard about them from. And you can find them at humblebundle.com. And uh, last but not least, if you're watching us on Twitch, there are three things to take into consideration. First and foremost, down below you'll notice two links. The first one is for extra life. Click on that, takes you to their website, allows you to give to the Children's Miracle Network at any point in time throughout the year when you can and when you'd like to. Our other website, our other uh, link is for our website, the Roll Hit Die website. Click on that. Marcus has been working on putting a few things into play, you know, a little bit about our games, such as our D&D ones. And I think he's asked for information on this one, so he's been working on them. But his pride and joy is the shops. So if you haven't had a chance, go check out the shop, see what he's got there. Um, shirts, mugs, rugs, you name it. Uh, anywhere from the symbol at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen to some things that are tied to some of our previous games, such as our uh, Vampire the Masquerade game, our other Mutants and Masterminds game we had prior to this, and so forth. So, let's see. I th and last but not least, of course, if you watch this on Twitch, there is a bubble down by the chat bar. The uh, longer you watch us, uh, consecutively, of course, you can collect points. Those points can be used to cause chaos in our D&D style games, such as Gooey Reincarnate on Saturday night, as well as our Legacy of the Kingman Stones on uh, Sunday night. If you're also watching our tour games, you can spend points to add or minus two points from a player's roll. Uh, that hasn't actually been used yet, I don't think, So, but that is the only one you can use on those games. I think that's it as far as my announcements are concerned. I don't know if anybody else has anything else they'd like to plug or announce. Uh, I'll say a little something. Go for it. If we got a minute. You're the uh, DM, so we got all the time in the world. 
if anybody out there happens to be in or around Northeast Arkansas, uh, July 11th through the 14th, uh, NEA Game Fest is going on. A uh, small local convention. Uh, I'll be running two games there. One of them is full. The other one's got several seats available. So if anybody's around and wants to play a game, uh, feel free to stop on by. Uh, and that's all I got for that. All right, well, then without further ado, I'll hand it off to you to jump us into tonight's game. All right. Uh, so when laugh, last we left off... Uh, we absolutely do we, not have a hostage. I mean, a prisoner. Yeah, I mean, he's a, not a hostage. He's, he's a companion. He's a, uh, he was just looking for a ride, is all. You're just <laughs> giving, you're like Uber. Essentially, is what's going on. Yes, if, yeah. Uber, uh, if Uber kidnapped you out of a metal tube and shoved you in a car that didn't belong to them, yeah. I can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, <laughs> Uber, right? Uh, so, uh, when last we left off, uh, you tracked a vehicle, uh, followed the vehicle to its ultimate destination, broke into said destination, uh, extracted the cargo, which happened to be, uh, someone you were familiar with, a fellow named Leo, uh, who you had had some interactions with previously, or an interaction with previously, uh, who had been uh, eh, sedated somehow, stuffed into a metal tube, transported from one facility to another, uh, and now is in a stolen car uh, hurtling down the interstate. Uh, right. Is that is that that track with everybody? Did I miss anything important? The millions of dollars that you found? <laughs> no? Oh, no. okay. That okay. Seems to track. A black credit card. I mean, it, it did go it. from a let's just track the vehicle to let's ride to see where the vehicle goes and report back to, hey, screw it, let's break in and, and, and release whatever this prisoner is. Let's break into a secure you facility. Know, it, 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 was, it was a momentary inspiration. Yeah. Yes, so that's the word we're going with. Inspiration. Gotcha. <laughs> so, and then, of course, uh, we waved as we went by the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, driving as fast as we could in this vehicle. Of course, once we get so, to a certain degree, I do want to slow down. So where where are you headed uh, with this vehicle, this passenger? S somewhere out in the woods. For now. Oh, the woods. All right. You know, the countryside, you know, good place to dump bodies. I mean, to, to have a conversation without being heard. Yeah, both. Whatever. Yeah, no cameras, you know, no stop with traffic lights, that yeah, kind of thing. Okay, so you find a suitable uh, location. You hit a few back roads, and you find uh, an, old, uh, an old service station that been closed down looks like for years uh the windows are all boarded up um looks like it would be a reasonable place for an interrogation okay or a interview conversation whatever we want to call it there are uh, any blinking lights inside the building there are no lights inside the building <laughs> just making sure when i you know pop the lock there there does not seem to be any electricity uh on at this place right. i'll park the vehicle in the back uh i guess okay. we had some way of communicating with the other two and let them know where we went yeah you've got walkie talkies as long as you're fairly close to each other you can talk i think some of you have cell phones is there a garage door attached to this uh, service station yes then i will pull the car inside okay and toss the keys to Kenny and say, uh, this is your deal, and go step outside. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Uh, He's your I guest, try... not mine. <laughs> I will then try to wake him up. Uh, it takes a bit, but he does kind of come to consciousness. He's like, what the... Hi. Looks around. Hey. 
I don't uh, you were you. captured, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, captured. Uh, I was drugged. That's the right. worst HR meeting ever. And, well, I found you in this weird little casket. You were frozen, but mm -hmm. I got you out. I appreciate that. That's uh, very human of you. If that's what I am. Um, I mean, at, at the core, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, we've been tracking these companies that have been making us, mm -hmm. and I just happened to come across yours. Or, sorry, not your company, but, you know. Uh, well, obviously, a rival company got you, or was... Wait, what? Your, did a rival company grab you or something? Or was it your own company? No, the company we went to was uh, affiliated with whom again? Uh, you went to uh, Emory Hadrick facility. That's where he was taken out of. Okay, mm -hmm. and I can't remember, yeah. was he associated with them or somebody else? Yes, he worked for them. All right, but another crew was trying to get their hands on him at the same time. Right. Right. So you're a hot commodity. It well, seems that's like. nice to hear, I guess. Now, now, I mean, did Emery Hadrick, like, put you on ice without your permission? Yeah. Very okay. much so. You, you didn't want to be put on ice. Okay. No. No, no, everything was going fairly smoothly. Uh, we had some differences of opinion uh, about... Uh, hmm, how they go about doing business. Um, That's like things what? were said. Well, uh... The procurement practices, uh, I'm not really a fan of. Okay. Uh, I'm not either. Um, uh, I worked trafficking and in information. Like, I'll go steal somebody's research. I'll go shut somebody down. But I'm not... Mm -hmm. I don't kidnap people. I don't do that. I know it's been done, and I know that I worked for a company that did it, and I've been doing it for a while, but I never did that. And they told me that I was going to have to do that, and uh, I told them I wouldn't, and then uh, sharp pain in the side of my neck. Sounds like an interesting and, retirement package uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I woke up, uh, well, here, which, just to be honest, smells delightful. What the fuck is going on around here? Oh, I, we, an abandoned building. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, we had to lay low after disrupting their lab. Um... There was another group after you. You were being transported from one lab to another because that lab had been compromised. The first lab had been compromised. Not only by us, but by not, a... I'm hit sorry, team. Not, not only by well, you? Well, we were in there trying to find information. Okay, yeah, I respect that. Yeah. Um, but another group came in and they were after, it looks like, you. It's nice to be you warned, were classified. You were listed as one that worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that tracks. Yeah, um, and they were, um, Lucas. What? No. Are you still alive you in there? That other team was professional. I didn't really interact with them. I mean, yeah, they worked as a four-man squad. Seemed to cover the exits properly and. Yeah, were they the, the clone group again? Uh, that I can't recall. Uh, yes. Yeah, they okay. All, well, they all looked alike. Well, they're all, you know, when they put the suits on, they all look alike to me. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we came across a group of cloned soldiers. Or at least we think they're cloned. They all look alike. Yep. Kensington. Kensington. Assholes. Yeah. So, it looks like Kensington was after you two. Um, that tracks. I mean, they're trying to steal research, and uh, if I'm in the box, I'm research. Yeah. Well, truth is, I'm just kind of getting tired of them kidnapping people and, uh, you know, not treating us as uh, human beings. And so I just couldn't let you stay there, so I just, you know, got you out. Says the one with the new lab rat powers. <laughs> well, I uh, appreciate the jailbreak. Uh, where do we go from here? First, you might want to get dressed. As I holler from what? outside. That we got the, there some clothes in the back seat. All right. Can I go there and get them, or is someone going to bring them oh, in? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. No, nobody's. Yeah, you can go. Uh, there's. Just so to clarify, those... Lucas has the keys to the car that he handed to Kenny. You know, Lucas is him. He okay. handed him to Kenny so he can get in the trunk. Okay, so open up the trunk so you can get to the clothing. Well, I mean, you open the trunk to get him out. I'm just making sure you realize the keys aren't in the ignition or anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. So make sure the back door is open you know, so you can get to the clothing. All right. Uh, so he goes. He gets dressed. Um... All right, well, um... I'm waiting to see if these other two will show up in the next few minutes. And keeping an ear open to make sure that Kenny's not having any issues. Uh, do the other two have anything to add? I mean, we're not there. Yeah, you are. You can be there. I mean, y you were following them. Okay. Then once they so get guess... Once they get here, I'll walk in with them. Okay. Yeah, you, you got to the parking lot as they were pulling out, and basically you just turned around and followed them. Okay, so I guess we'll just say we arrived then? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. I mean, if you want it to be more dramatic than that, I can add in some, like, road construction and uh, <laughs> brief police chase and stuff like that. But, well, uh, there was the raccoon that you ran over, but, you know. I mean... Yeah, well, okay. I mean, hitting a raccoon at 70 on a motorcycle is a big deal. You just look he wasn't an armadillo. <laughs> yeah, you'd have been wrecked. <laughs> Those things are tough. Those things are a lot tougher than you think. I yeah. knew a guy who hit a cow. <laughs> oh. He lived. Deers aren't fun either. No. I've hit an elk. That was interesting. You 10, hit feet? an elk? Yeah. 10,000 feet coming off of uh, Yellowstone. Oof. I, I helped put a cow on the road for somebody else to hit. Sorry, you're going to have to describe that more? You were at... We, we were leaving Yellowstone, and mm -hmm. there were two different pathways we could take. We're looking at the map. GPS not working. So we're like, this portion of map signifies a shorter road than the other. It was dark, so I couldn't see the topography mm -hmm. on that line. That line, lo and behold... Yes, it was shorter, but it led all the way up a mountain. Mm. So it was, in fact, not a shorter time. But we got up 10,000 feet. There's 70 miles an hour. It's snowing. And this Tahoe we're in, we're chilling. I'm talking to Jenna's father. And at about that time, uh, a female elk is suddenly in front of the Tahoe. And... We hit it, it flips around its back end, slams the driver's side door completely shut, never to open again. Um, he was an ambulance driver in New York. His training kicked in. He got us pulled over just fine. And then he proceeded to have a panic attack <laughs> as I then shuffled him off to the back seat. And I went outside to find the elk. It was gone, by the way. And uh, then I hopped in the driver's seat and kept going. Yeah, this nice. it's sitting around the uh, watering hole talking about the Tahoe. It just you know brushed off, <laughs> right? Uh, I worked on uh, my first show. I worked on that was one of the things we did. If 
was put a cow in the middle of the road, a fake one, so that the uh, the um, medical van or the coroner's van could slam into it and allow Michael Myers to get out. Nice. That's my yes. cow story. Michael just needs to be free. I mean, he won't get up and get out unless you stop the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we walk in, and I guess about this time he's getting dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how's your conversation going, Kenny? Well, I mean, uh, his own company is the one that put him on ice. Kind of figured. Difference of opinion about subject acquisition. Wait a minute. They just they put him on ice instead of just like firing him or demoting him. It's well, um, I, I, yeah, he's a valuable um, intellectual property. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't get I to leave. To so did did you realize that was part of the retirement package when you got this job? Just figured I'd ask. Well, no. I mean, at least you could have uh, got a gold watch or something. I I. I I did figure that uh, there were going to be some consequences, but I did not. We're having some technical difficulties, it seems. Yeah, you froze, Gerald. Coming uh, test subject. If I didn't realize the technical difficulties, I'd ask if you're having a stroke. No, better tits on. Oh well, crap. (laughs) Uh, frozen. Can anybody hear me? In and out. You're breaking up a lot. And you're fully frozen. Screenshot, make a token, somebody. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Oh, we lost him completely. Ladies and gentlemen, just stand by till uh, he can get back in, and the cameras will correct themselves once that happens. Everybody have a good weekend, at least. No, I'm sorry. I did. Just kids, just fucking kids working with kids. That's how it is. I mean, just give them a six pack of beer and kick them into a closet. They'll be fine. And you do that, and it's like, you know, hostile work environment. Whatever. Well, use Velcro. It makes funny noises. And but you're dealing with, uh, what, high schoolers or college? High schoolers. Well, I mean, honestly, they're all over the damn spectrum. It's just, uh, you know, entry-level job bullshit. He's back. I think so. He's still frozen, though. There. No. No. Back. You might want to turn off your video. Anybody hear me? Did I freeze again? Seems like you froze. You you might want to turn off your video. No. Okay. So I'm gonna stop video. Okay. Now you're coming in clear. Uh, how about now? Can you not hear us? I can still hear you. I already did. Okay, well, it sounds like there might be a little lag yep. in his receiving I can, us. I, I can hear you guys. Mm, it's a little choppy. Yeah. Hello? 
That's terrible. Uh, let me go turn some stuff off and see if I can squeeze some more bandwidth out of this lousy internet that I pay too much for. That we all pay too much for? Yes. Oh, Bill, I missed a call from her surgeon. Um, I'm going to have to reschedule because they can't get in touch with my doctor's office surprise and um there's something about the insurance they're trying to correct so i'm going to call them tomorrow mm. morning but i think i'm going to have to reschedule okay i'm going to leave a message for doctor Is there bad weather about where he's at? Or do we know? Who, Gerald? Yeah. Unsure. Ladies and gentlemen, we will go ahead and take a quick break, uh, I guess, a little early till we get this uh, situation fixed. So, see you then. Oh, yes.
And we are back from our little technical difficulty. All right, sorry about that, folks. Uh, Internet company, which shall not be named, uh, is not offering exceptional service in my area right now. I was wondering if you were having some weather issues. No. Huh, okay. <laughs> no, it's it's hot, but it's not raining or windy or anything like that. Uh, and if hot melts the internet in Texas, uh, well, that's just one of an assortment of problems we have with utilities here. So, uh, you are with Leo in an abandoned service station, uh, and you have some questions to ask about, I forget. Well, I've asked my questions. All right. Anybody else have questions? Uh, Leo, oh. I, we we really haven't met, but I, I'm different like everyone else, like, like you. Uh, but I don't know nothing about any lab or anything like that. You seem to be in the know, like you're a scientist or someone that making me can explain why it's happened to me. Uh, did you ever have like a traumatic injury, uh, where you were in the hospital for some amount of time? Maybe lost some memory, lost some, lost some time. Say yes. <laughs> well, when I was about 16, I I got in a football accident that put me in pretty bad shape, but that was when I was a kid. Sometimes it, it takes a while to take. 10 years? I mean, did you ever think about changing into a dinosaur? I don't think it's really re regular for people to think about turning into a dinosaur. There I didn't go. think about it myself until I was watching the new Godzilla movie. There you go. And you probably thought something like, man, that'd be cool. And then, boom. Right? I was hoping for more than that, but, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I am not a scientist. Oh. I am a I am an I am a veteran that signed up for a program that did what it said it would do but I didn't much like most people who ever joined the military I didn't read the fine print uh about what comes after uh and uh I find myself in a situation where, uh, well, I'm unemployed, uh, probably considered a fugitive, uh, definitely have at least one, possibly up to four, uh, corporations, uh, looking for me. I mean, uh, okay. Probably three. Oh, and the government. Okay, so the government... Uh, I did air quotes, no one can see me. Uh, the government isn't actually involved in any of the day-to-day -day operations. That's right. why Project Athena exists, to keep their hands clean. Mm-hmm. They're not going to claim ownership of anything until there's a successful program uh, that doesn't have to kidnap people or trick people into uh, uh, contracts or situations where uh, they have no options. So, um, what are you going to do now then? I mean, do you have... a safe place to go. I'd know some people. I can get in contact with some people. Um, 
that I believe will uh, will give me a place to stay while I figure out uh, what comes next. That is, or he uh, just want to bring this whole program down. I am of mixed opinion on that. I, I certainly have my axe to grind with them currently. Um, and again, I, I'm not crazy about their methods. Even some of the stuff that I have personally done uh, seems very sketchy. Uh, but I do what I do. Uh, I do what I'm good at. But you're also good at getting information. Is what you said. Yeah. I mean, well, okay. Uh, I get information primarily by hurting people or by stealing it. Okay, well, I mean, I that's kind of how we get information is we steal it or... Uh, well, we, we, did, we did threaten the general. General? You threatened a general? That's... Oh, yeah, and his wife. Yeah, Lieutenant General uh, Frederick Ross. Hmm. That uh, bold move. Uh, uh, why would you do that? That's. Well, we had no other place to start. Well, that's a hell of a place to start. Well, that's where we there? found out about Project Athena. Yeah. Yeah. They're into it, knuckle deep. Mm -hmm. And we also found out from them that other countries are have spies over here trying to get the same information. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't want an army of super soldiers that can no. turn into dinosaurs or prehistoric marsupial lions or, you know, whatever, whatever you got laying around. Whatever odd and, DNA happens to... Is there a hand? Is there a hand in the back? Do I see a hand in the back? Yeah, you asked who doesn't want that. Me. Oh. Do you run a country? Do I run a country? Oh, I'm sorry. Was this limited to countries? Well, yeah. Because it, it's about, you know, different nation states sending uh, operatives to, you know, uh, to copy, steal, destroy... I just, uh, I just, it, it could just be anything. Make, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I mean, I guess if it was an army of yeah. raptors, that would be awesome. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who doesn't want that? Who, I would watch that movie right now. I was, the scientist, I, I, I bit his head off. Yeah. You know, I don't think I, he would like to see raptors ever again. Okay. I don't think he will either now, will he? Or his just, colleagues that watch. I'm just saying an army of raptors can't be that cost effective. <laughs> you I don't mean, have to equip them. You don't have to buy them body armor or armor up vehicles or anything like that. If they can actually get a viable super soldier for lack of a better term uh and and you know i mean you have to admit a swarm of cockroaches is a great way to infiltrate things i've got to say though it worked this this doesn't seem like the most efficient idea why did they go this way something had to have pigeonhole them like they they had to have been stuck or something this is the weirdest direction this should have gone, or this could have gone. Well, I, mean, I, I think they're trying to perfect something, like, and I yeah. don't think they're on the right path. Yeah, I don't know about techniques, but they're definitely trying to perfect something. They're trying to figure out how to make on-demand powers, like order up a bunch of soldiers that are resistant resistant to fire and then just firebomb the holy hell out of some place and send them in to get whatever you need while but it's they, still on fire. They keep ending up with this pre, these prehistoric animals. 
I don't know. That was, get, this is a branch, you know, it's... I get the sense they're shopping at the same store. They're all shopping at the same store. Like they well, keep, if they keep stealing each other's they... information, then they are. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a very incestuous situation. I, uh, I don't know if that's one... the right use of that word. Mm. When did this begin? <laughs> uh... I want to say sometime in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was, once upon a time, there was a guy, and he had superpowers, and they cloned him, and that's where all those Kensington assholes came from. Uh, oh, okay. But if we figure out, but when we figured out that we could clone people, uh, they wanted to see if they could pull out the DNA uh, that gave people the powers... Um, to isolate the the genes that gave people powers so that they could basically just give people powers instead of having to, like, wait for there to be someone with powers that they could clone and wait 20 years for them to be useful. But, uh, they're, but they're building off of prehistoric DNA, so I've got to wonder if possibly that the reason they're having to do that is because they need to activate dormant dormant DNA strands in people. Things that were already there. Well, we're, I think they're not just dinosaurs being uh, being used. Didn't, weren't they using something different in some of the other labs? Uh, well, Kensington was made their name cloning the one guy and and raising the vipers the hymns yeah the vipers hmm. oh. i saw footage of those kids when they were like seven they were terrifying mm -hmm. then they were doing like crazy parkour run up walls and shit mm -hmm. plus they all look alike that's gross weird and then they can change their face which by the way uh apparently learning how to do that is a real fucking skill because that was disturbing as shit too um so I anyway can't... but a bunch of super soldiers that can look like anybody uh super effective um yeah. Now, that face changing came to, can we turn them into other things? And apparently, there was a kid somewhere that could turn into other things, uh, and they scooped him up and uh, tried to squeeze the juice out of him. Uh, and that's apparently where, well, uh, all the Emory Hadrick folks come from. Okay. Huh. Well, would that be you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. Liam's pointing at you. Pointing at Keenan? Um, mm -hmm. hmm? At, oh, you're pointing at me? Yes. I, I have no idea. I mean, I was in a lab for most of my life. I mean, everything he just said seems to fit the bill that you were that lab's origin. Uh, huh. uh might be. <laughs> you want to talk about a hot commodity, kid? Everybody's looking for you. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I. Well, whatever they did to me last time, definitely gave me the ability to change it. Yeah, but we're not exactly hiding under a bushel. If they're looking for them, how come they can't... Well, they haven't found them yet. Because technically we've been hiding under a bushel. Like, we've been hiding under the streets in a subway car. <laughs> are we, yeah, but are we that hard to track? I mean, I imagine with their resources, it shouldn't be that difficult to find us. I mean... I mean, have you ever, you know, been homeless before and had somebody try to find you? You're technically off the grid. It's kind of hard to find. You're off the grid and in a crowd. 
and I'm really good at hiding in a crowd. Well, more so now that you can literally turn into a crowd yourself. I mean, bugs, yes, but still, it's a crowd. So, if I just have this right, you protested, uh, and they basically just knocked you out and decided to start experimenting on you because you already had their intellectual property. Pretty much. I figure it was going to be kind of a uh, like a clone situation. They want to keep the source fresh. Uh, or they were going to do, you know, like dissection maybe. Like, see if there's a, a structure or something uh, that gives me the abilities. Or just drop you in a blender, stir you up, and shoot you into somebody else. Basically. I mean, okay, there's so more, how... like, centrifuges, I think, involved, but I don't really understand what they're doing with them. So there's lots how of spinning do we shut things. them down? Or make it apparent that they are kidnapping people. Uh... I just say we go to every one of the leaders and just take them out, I guess. If you can get into one of the main labs, the security office of one of the main lab, No, not the security office. They don't keep them there. If you can get the tapes of some of the trials, uh, you then think? you can expose the fact that they're actually uh, doing the experimentation. Okay. Uh, I understand that they're under investigation by... Emily Hart. Sure. Uh, is that, uh, is that the reporter or the prosecutor? The state attorney. State Romero. attorney. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're doing, uh, some investigations. Um, so, if you well, can get them, like, concrete evidence, then that can, that can start something. That can start to shine the light on it, and, uh. I don't know, then maybe something happens, maybe it doesn't. Alright, uh, can you get us in? I'm sorry, what? I don't think you would be able to get us in now, I mean, not unless we want to get in the metal tube. Well, I mean, yeah. don't we already kind of have concrete evidence? Well, you're, you, you think he'll come forward? No, I, I no, think... I mean, we, we don't have to have anybody speak for us. We got this iPad, we got, I mean, hell, ourselves. We're, we're yeah. eyewitnesses. Yeah, we're we also have all those reliable. computers. Yeah, how'd that... We have every pile of paperwork known to man. There's got to be something in here that they can put two and two together with, even though there's two and five thousand of them. But that's their job, not ours. I mean, it's the government. You kind of lead them by the nose or you're not going to get anything done. I mean, well, yeah, it's a manpower thing. I mean, even if we give her a big pile of papers and she goes through it, with, through it, it might take months and it might I, and, and then we say you put us in your protection because we're eyewitnesses to uh, kidnapping of federal crimes there's a lot of stuff getting dragged out about me that I'm not okay with well I mean you got the whole mask thing going so your identity is kind of well hidden I mean there's three of us we could I guess it doesn't need to be all four Actually, have you been experimented on, or are you just, like, real fancy with your flips and sh uh, arrow shots? It's just self-taught, I'll just say. So that's a, no, you're not, like, powered or nothing? No, at least not that I know of. I mean, considering my father was in this cabal, I kind of worry about what that means, but it might just be a coincidence. So yeah, I guess we could uh, at least approach this prosecutor, right? And and 
talk I mean, with her, we, maybe? Well, I mean, we could ha hand off all the computers and all the files we have. We're, we're going to incriminate ourselves for the recent situation that we pulled So there. what a, what about... By doing that, the, but... what's that little stick called that you youngins use these days to like save stuff on? That's only about like you know about that big. The but... jump, jump, jump drive. Uh, 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 a memory stick, memory stick. The things at Walmart right there by the by the cash register. I would no, I haven't been in a Walmart in years. They don't really, you know, what our kind in there. They afraid we're going to try to eat the produce while it's in there, like that. Like we're going to do that. Are you talking about a flash People drive? People eat grapes all the time. A flash drive. That's right. That's the one. Yeah, can't you like get all the information you've uh, acquired so far, put it on one of those little flash drive things, and then we can hand that to her. Despite what movies have taught us, flash drives are not infallible. I mean, there's still the problem with where did the information come from. You know, courts kind of care about that shit. But we don't. I'm just saying it'd be easier to hand off a stick with all that stuff on it than to hand off eight computer consoles and to try to go through. I mean, they, we can... They, they can care all day about where they get where we got our stuff from, but if we say we're a... And it, we're here to be an informant and nothing else. Take this and do what you want with it. We're now the reliable source. We can say we're private investigators, for God's sake. Oh, I, I, I could. If um, something were to happen to a, at a building and it brought the fire department and police in and they just happened to find something, I mean, it's a loophole. Technically, we could call the cops on ourselves and just get right. out of there. Right. I like what you're saying. I think it's just turned into a courtroom drama. It's risky, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, out of aspect, all the. All the computers that we brought back, was there any video files on it of the testing and stuff going on? No, there was nothing on any of the computers. No video files. Well, we know where a lab's at. Maybe we can break back into that lab and, and swipe their surveillance uh, footage, which should have um, you know, test subjects and stuff under surveillance, right? We get that. We put it on that flashy doohickey thing you're talking about, and I make a copy. Of course, you don't ever give the only copy you got to somebody, because then you never know what's going to happen. And then give it to this prosecutor, and turn our, you know one or two of us can turn ourselves in as being some of the test subjects, as proof that it has been done. Maybe, maybe we should just. have a jailbreak i mean it's either that or we let kenny blow up all the buildings we come across and then i mean that, that's that's a lot of collateral damage well I, mean, I, I didn't blow up a building yet well there's that word dead yet <laughs> <laughs> my thinking is we should uh liberate any prisoners and uh Blow up the building. You said blow up the building? I mean... There should be some more test subjects at the island, right? Probably. Uh, so... Is it a plus or is it a minus to their uh, devious heart? Hmm. GM, you've got a plus or minus two to whatever roll comes up for you. Oh, well, all right. Is that Devious Hearts popped De in? Devious Hearts, yes. Oh, hey, Devious. Uh, you can't see me waving. Uh, so. so, yeah, let, let's just let's go to the island. 
um, swipe whatever information you can there, free whatever people there if you want, destroy the place if you want, but have that, you know, evidence to give to this prosecutor. Who knows, maybe we can actually get taken care of and work for them or something to alleviate this above board instead of like, you know, breaking on the military bases and such. It's just an idea. I mean, I mean, fighting which lab do we want to go for? The governor. Well, I'd say we go to the island lab. We know it's still functioning. We'll probably come back to bite us, but what was that about family? I, I mean, threatening the the general's family will probably come back to bite us, but I mean, hey, well, I think his wife's going to. We, we were we were desperate. We were scared. We were uh, trying to you know save our own skin. We, we were the victims here. We were uh, accosted and experimented on. So, yes, we lashed out. Was it right? Probably not, but we would have still had, you know, no idea what to do if we had continued the route we were going. A good lawyer will definitely find a way around that, right? Been a while since I've seen any lawyer shows, so I, I don't know for certain. Um, so... The island. It was a Emory Hadrix lab, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and it was a big one. I mean, if you want to go there and see if we can free anyone that's still there, that'd be fine. Maybe we'll even find the ones that are missing. Well, they also remember, I think they recaptured the T-Rex guy. I mean, just releasing him would pretty much send them into a tizzy again. I will be right back, guys. Okay. 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 But yeah, if you want to go there, that'd be fine. Like I said, we know where it's at. Plus, yeah. it's close to our base of operations. The only question is, uh, Leo, are you interested in... Uh, Helping of this, or are you going to go try to, you know, stay under the radar yourself and find some place else to go? To the best of my ability in 2024, I am going to disappear. I've got some people that can maybe help me make that happen. Uh, if they don't sell me. So, eh. You know, that's... Really sad. Um, yeah, I'm, what are the odds? I'd say it's about 80-20 they help. Um, uh, it's probably more than that. It's probably 90-10. I mean, They're it, good, we it, go back, but... It, it's your life. Live it how you want to. Just the option was there. Better and than I being in a tube, it. one way or the other. It's better than being in a tube, and it's better than living out the rest of my life in a lab, even if they ever let me out. Yeah, they... Uh, I wasn't there for that. Never mind. So, I am gonna... Uh, well, do you guys have any other questions? Maybe you could drop me off at, like, a bus station or something? Um, well, I mean... Yeah. Give him the keys of the car. We got another yeah. one out here to ride in. You got a motorcycle. Oh, they were both on a motorcycle? Yes. Oh, then never mind. They were on Aku's motorcycle. Yeah, I don't so think... So we uh, can give you a ride home. Yeah, we can give you a ride to the nearest bus stop or something. Well, maybe down the street from a bus station. Yeah. Yeah, apparently I need to pay more attention to cameras. Because that's how you guys found me. Well... Also those I think there's a hoodie the back kids. there on the floorboard that, you know, we dug out of the box. You could probably wear it to cover your part, you know, part of your face. Um, That's how I do it. This one that says Blue Crystal Security? No, no, the other one that's kind of a little dirty. Oh, okay. There's a this... Blue Crystal Security hoodie back there? I didn't see that. Well, you did steal a, a 
car from a lot. Yeah, but I, I didn't look for clothes. <laughs> yeah, it did seem okay, a little so... small. But anyway, I'll take this one. It smells like it's been under the spare tire, but that's fine. It probably was before it came out of the box I pulled it out of. So, let's just go on, get him to a bus stop, we go back. King so, City and... I mean, it sounds like a plan to me. Okay. So, you drive around, you find a bus stop, you drop him off, and he says, All right, uh... Do you guys have any kind of way I could contact you? Um... When I get settled, I'll let you know. And if you guys, I don't know, maybe need a hand somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I, I look at everyone else because that is not my area. Um, you could Aku. probably, I mean, I don't know if, well, Aku's our, our tech uh, guru and they are currently... Aku definitely has a drop email. I was going to say like okay. a, a message board or something online. Yeah. Like a Gmail account for a company that doesn't exist or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So Leo gets the email. He's like uh well, hey folks, uh, thanks for the rescue. Really appreciate it. Uh, You're welcome. Good luck. Um, try not to end up back in a tube. It sucks. Yep. Uh, well, good luck to you too. I mean, your face is probably going to be plastered everywhere, so. Yeah, I imagine that is the case. But, um,. Hey, who knows? This time next week, it might be in Bolivia. Or, you know, some other country with uh, porous borders. Yeah, or in a black site somewhere. Yeah. Either one, right? 80-20. Yeah. 90-10. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's also the the chance that by me contacting him, I alert somebody. So, I'm going to stick with 80-20. So, uh, well, good luck. Thanks. You too. And he bops off. Uh, he does not actually go into the bus station. He heads toward uh, a like a bar and grill that's kind of around the corner from the uh -huh. bus station. Uh, and uh, and he kind of turns around the corner and disappears. Well, he also needs to find money. He's good at finding things. Exactly. Exactly. So, yes, we're going back to our base and All go right. from there. Well, yeah. What the hell? Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I had nothing more. All right. Uh, so you head back to base. Uh, do you do you go back and get the van or do you keep the car um, we're at a bus station is there any other vehicles that might resemble this one you know could be mistaken sensible for the same... mid sized sedan sure you know, could be mistaken for the same color or vehicle blah 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 yeah alright well Swap. we also need to get Liam's RV Swap tags. Okay. Uh, Which one that looks with one that looks almost the same color? Somebody roll me a stealth, or if you have any other skills that you think might apply, uh, make me a skill roll. How's an eighteen? Right. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, no one at the bus station is particularly alert right now. Uh, it's probably quite late, or maybe just really early, depending on your perspective. Um, because you were uh, you were engaged in tracking a vehicle that was on the overnight shift. Yeah. So, uh, you managed to swap out the plates. Uh, I do not know this to be true, but I'm going to say that uh, uh, that Delaware only has rear plates. Bill? What? We'll say they do. I can't remember either. Yeah. Narratively, uh... They only have rear plates, so it's not that hard to swap. Okay. Then, so, we'll head, then we'll head back to the base, I guess, unless there's any other stops we think of. Uh, somebody mentioned collecting the RV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to get Liam's RV. I don't think this is going to pull it, but we can at least... Uh, go back over there and it's hooked up to the van, right? That's right. Yeah, so we will take the van then just because we need to get Liam's RV back to pay up. If the RV's even still there. Yeah, so we'll go back by and pull up uh, a distance from where the RV was parked and scout it out. It's there. Yep, uh, uh, scout out anything, anybody watching it. Uh, make me either perception or investigation, whichever I'll you I'll go with perception, because I'm going to use my senses to determine. And a 13? Really? What the frill? And I'll also do a perception. Ugh, only an 11. Liam would likely be there as well, since it's his stuff. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I would love to roll as well. Or do you want these two to stand? Uh, go ahead and roll. Twenty-four. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything that uh that looks like anybody's staking out your RV. Y'all don't see anything. I don't see anything. Unless they got them fancy trackers that are watching the thing, or if this thing's been booby-trapped, I mean, I think we're good. Uh, from a standoff distance, you certainly don't, you know, there's, you don't see any red lights flashing on the bumper or anything like that, but, uh... Like, if you're going to, like, search the inside of it or look underneath it, uh, that would be something you'd have to do from up close. Um, Liam will go... He, he looks to the both of them and he says, No, Kenny... Yeah. Lucas, y'all been good to me. Um, thank you for all the help. But I don't want y'all risking y'all's lives for my RV. I, I, if I get caught here, it is what it is. I don't want y'all going back. Oh, wait, so wait, 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 I'll... wait, wait, wait. You're concerned that maybe there might be something on the RV itself, like a tracker or a detonation bomb, you know, bomb or whatever. So much so is that someone could just be inside ready and waiting. Like, I don't know. Well, um, I mean, Kenny me can turn into that. bugs and he can just check every inch of the vehicle in just one fell swoop. Right? Yeah, I'm turning into cockroaches, and I will go and investigate. I mean, he can even uh, sacrifice RV. one of his bugs to short out any circuitry that's required to set off any things along those lines, whether it be explosives or trackers. If I remember correctly, so, I'm the... turning into cockroaches and going and investigating right. the RV. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you swarm into the RV, and you do not see anyone. There's not okay. anyone there. Uh, do you have any particular skills that would help you in locating a bomb or no. a tracker or anything like that? None whatsoever. All right, looks clean. 
Okay. Um, so I come back out and go, uh, there was no one in there. So it looks clean. Um, All right, well then, then, I guess we can just take a peek. You might want to throw away some of the food. It's a little rot. It's been a couple days. Cockroaches definitely ate some of that. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess that's to be expected. All right. So, Aku, to catch you up, uh... You dropped Leo off at a bus station. Mm -hmm. Uh, You went back to get the RV. Uh, Kini uh, roached into it, and uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone there. Uh, But there is a concern that there might be explosives or trackers or some such. Okay. That's where we Um, are now, right? Yeah. I'm reasonably sure that I can look for trackers without blowing up the RV. Well, I don't see why cool. there'd be any reason to worry about explosives or trackers. I mean, we parked way over here. Nowhere near the facility. Hmm. I'm actually not that good at this. Uh, would, would these companies actually put random, you know, put trackers on random vehicles and or explosives? Mm, yeah, well, well, I'm reminded of the fact that we're a bit of a, you know, thorn in their side. So I'd rather know for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, search around, maybe find, uh, I'm going to look for things like, you know, I would place them, like explosives, uh, GPS devices, microphones, like listening devices, anything like that. All right. Uh, give me either investigation or technology, or if you have some other skill that you think would fit better, let me know. Uh, nope. I think that would be it. So I'm going to go with <clears throat> I'm gonna go with technology. All right. Surprise, no one. Roll it up. Twenty-eight's pretty good. Uh, you do not find anything. If someone puts something on this van, it's certainly not where you would put it. Okay. And I. This van is clear. <laughs> Until it's not. Right. All right, well, uh... Liam goes inside and looks under his bed. Is his lockbox there? Yeah. He sighs a happy sigh, and he says, All right. Angelica, we're back. Who's Angelica? The RV. You named your RV Angelica? Well, I used to like this uh, this cartoon as a kid, and my favorite character was the pissed-off bitch the whole time. Her name was Angelica. You picked... Out of everyone on Rugrats, you picked Angelica? (laughs) Hey, there was nothing wrong with Angelica. She knew what she wanted. Man has a type. (laughs) Everybody else was confused. She was not. Yeah, no. Um, Alrighty then. So, yeah, let's... I guess we need to go ahead and get going. Yeah, I guess so. So, let's take Angelica and get on the road. Yep. Yes. As I mosey back over to the other vehicle and get in the driver's seat. (laughs) Uh, All right, I'm going to, I'm going to nap. So, please don't wake me up unless somebody or something is on fire. I mean, you napping in the van or in, in, in Angelica? The van. 
<laughs> Just in case. <laughs> That's a vote of confidence in your own ability to find a bomb. <laughs> don't don't read too much into it. I'm fairly sure there are no explosives on this uh, on this vehicle. It's just a matter of principle. You will never sleep in an RV. Not one named Angelica. Ah, uh, okay. I figured it's more along the lines of not one that took to. Have. An old ass van going down the road. With no windshield, by the way. No windshield. I like the wind in my hair. Especially when you're running 70 miles an hour down the freeway <laughs> trying to sleep. All right, so you make it back to Cape City. No major uh, occurrences. Uh, you. Uh, locate your usual parking place. You park and detach the the RV and um, take the van back to the base. What would you like to do now? Uh, I think we all need a little bit of rest if, before we go and you know invade this lab. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I really, except for going in and just, you know, going in, uh, I have no idea about what we should do to, like, get in. Unfortunately, the van is not a hippie van. It's a panel van. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm sure one of you people can figure out what might be a good way of getting over to the island and then into this place. And while uh, Kini is talking, uh, you may notice that his fingers are regrowing. They were gone? Yeah, the experiment. Yeah, missing Definitely fingers. Missing, missing a few. Yeah, he had missing fingers. But they seem to be regrowing. Oh, cool. Are you a lizard? Oh, yeah. We well, here's got the lizard man part. Many kinds of well, I mean, Yeah, I mean, I, I can turn into a lizard. A lot of different types of lizards. So, limbs just not a big deal. You know, uh, I, What do you mean? Your, 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 your fingers are coming back. I don't know. I don't know. Um... You didn't notice You're like everything they ever back. talked about in uh, all them sci-fi films, like Earth's a you know a Deathcon Seven world bullshit, and humans are the superior race of all things in the galaxy because fight or flight or some bullshit. They regrow <laughs> limbs and keep fighting. You're it. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? You ever watch sci-fi? What is sci-fi? He takes and opens a drawer in his van and there's a small CRTV and he has seven different VHS tapes and they're all sci-fi or Godzilla and he says we're having a movie night oh wait a minute I know Godzilla I just don't know what sci-fi is science fiction oh I'm about to show you Star Trek okay I mean, I'm game Actually, I should probably get some sleep. I think I was overseas when that came out. I mean, there's all sorts of there's Star Trek, there's Star Wars, there's man, what was that one that went to Atlantis? What was that one called? Aku, do you know what that one was called? Oh, Aku's in the truck. We're in the van. All this stuff would be an RV. Oh. Well, I'm sure I'll yeah, I, I'm just going to go over and crawl into my uh, sleeping bag. And, you know, maybe tomorrow after we um, attack this island, uh, we can... Uh, I'll watch some things. With yeah. L Lucas but, will actually sit up and watch uh, whatever you want to watch. 
Yeah. Until you fall I mean, asleep. Hopefully you all will figure out a way for what we should do to get into this place. We'll probably get an idea of the sci-fi movies. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's a shame we don't have one of those, you know, little small subs we can go on. <laughs> <laughs> we need is a mini sub hey if you guys tell me you're willing to spend the points on something uh we can find just about anything at this uh major corporation secret laboratory true of course i don't know where you guys would park a mini sub well I'm... there has to be a sewer somewhere i'm talking about a sandwich Oh. Not a boat. Those are nice, too. We can't infiltrate an island base with a sandwich. That just means you've never tried. Shows a profound lack of inspiration. <laughs> Walk in, you say, I'm I'm from Jimmy John's. I'm here to give you your order. Do you, do, do, uh, Susan? <laughs> I mean, in my work. I mean, it well, has a zero Okay, well, here, here's before. a question uh, of our two um, lizard-type folk. Uh, are you amphibious in any manner? I, I'm sure that uh, Kenny is. Yeah, I, I can go underwater. What about you? I was thinking about doing that in case, like, a boat came to intercept you or something. I could just take it out. What you, uh, um, Liam, and, Liam, can you... You turn I, into a, a underwater or sea based lizard? I haven't really ever tried. I've only ever been this, what I've understood to be called a Therizinosaurus. Oh, a lot the of people. Razor call bladed. Murder chicken. Yeah, the, the razor blade fingernail chicken. Gotcha. Yeah. Which, did you know that they could throw their claws until you saw me? Or maybe it's just unique to me, but. These things are awesome. I, you know what? I don't know. I was not really into dinosaurs when I was younger. I, I've never tried, but I mean, I could spend the next couple of days trying to figure out if it's possible. Well, the idea is if we can get, if there's at least two of us that can, well, I say us, I know I can't because I've, all I tell you is turn into a giant furball. Um, that can do the amphibious thing. They can drag the other two with them through the water. That way we have a lower profile. We're not like a boat on a radar or something. Drop off somewhere on shore on a secluded side of the island and, and find a drain line or something to get into it. But the best thing to do is probably when Aku gets a chance and wakes up out of that van out there, um, she can... Check satellite footage, maybe see if there's any, like, what is that map thing that kids use these days to get around by? Whatever, um, to get an idea of what's out there. Maybe we can find a way to get in using that, or maybe even find out if there's any, uh, um, what are they called, blueprints online that might be registered with the city hall. It's worth a shot. Uh, you, you uh, know, usually that was just handed down to me by the higher ups. I don't, I don't know how to acquire any of that stuff. I'll spend the next couple of days trying to to figure out how to change my morph and see if there's any amphibiousness hidden within. Uh, and and so that's what I'll use my remaining points on is to. Uh, Maybe get some swimming in there somehow. Sure. You can add some ranks of swimming. You can add some ranks of... Uh, uh, let's see. You can do a favorite environment, water. Uh, so you don't take any penalties for being in water. Mm -hmm. um, you could do throw a couple points on... Uh, or throw one point on an immunity to drowning. Uh, or two points on being able to essentially not have to breathe. I mean, all of these things sound possible, great, and tell me more later. All right. 
There are many things we can do. Uh, I am just trying to slowly well, how, clean up a how, bunch of old maps that I wasn't planning on revisiting. How technically inclined um, are you, Aku? What, I mean, what kind of things can you uh, build? I know you build all those gadgets and stuff. I am asleep. That's right, you were asleep, and I just mentioned that a minute ago. <laughs> well, maybe when Aku wakes up, we can find out if she can make some, I don't know, breathers or, or, or some sci-fi stuff that was on that show a minute ago. Mm -hmm. No, no. So that's the question. Do you have the VHS of the, the prequel? Uh, you're talking Star Wars prequels? Yeah. Oh, Phantom Menace is here. So maybe see if Aku can create that little thing that the the Jedi people put in their mouth and was swimming underwater with. Mm-hmm. A little Which... bulkier. It's called scuba gear. I understand scuba <laughs> gear, but it's kind of, I mean, short of going to a scuba shop and breaking in and stealing everything, it's not like we can go out and buy any. I mean, we do have a card. We could try it. That's right. We got that dude's black card. All right. That's what I'll do. I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll go buy some nice clothes first and get a shave and a haircut. <laughs> Good bet. That sounds like a mighty fine idea. And then uh, I will... Just be ready to run at any given moment because <laughs> that card's going to ping. Or decline. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least if I go that route, I'll know firsthand. And it'll be just, oh, some homeless dude got a hold of the card and is getting a shave and a haircut. If it works, so then I'll go to a barber shop yeah. in town. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like where I see all the college kids or whatever go to to get their hair stuff done. An actual barber shop, not a salon. Right. Uh, so you go and you sit down, you get your hair cut and your shave and everything, and you run the card and everything seems fine. All right. Then I will go get me some clothes and then we'll go see if I can buy some scuba gear for at least two, if not three of us. How strong is your underwater uh, uh, self there, Kenny? Uh, in terms of what? Could my you, strength? Could you pull three humanoids? I have a strength of six in that form. Yeah, you can pull three. You can. You. How fast are you? Uh, let me find that. Um, my swimming speed is 15 miles an hour. You could... Pull three people behind you on skis. <laughs> so, go to the scuba shop and get stuff for like, uh, not big tanks, but the smaller tanks. You know, for, um, what are they, I don't know, there's a type of diving they do. The deep sea diving where they just hit the tank here periodically. Like a rebreather? Yeah, something like that. Well, though, the rebreather's yeah. what's hooked to the tank. I'm talking about the l small little tanks. They're only about, you know... So it's like an emergency it. tank. Yeah, I've seen them where people are diving into um, ships that are sunk, and, you know, it's too, holes are too small to go through with a big tank on, so they have these little tanks they carry around they put on their face. Yeah. If the scuba uh, shops A lot of people that. carry them if they're going into places that have bad air. Or potentially have bad air. So that's what we'll do. And let's see how many points I actually have available to me. I might just go uh, ahead. That and... is a that is by the way a piece of equipment you can get for one PowerPoint. Now it's not 
a lot of air. Yeah, but if he's going 60 miles an hour, we're definitely not going 60 miles off the coast. It'll at least be something we can use for an infiltration mission. Yeah, so, up. um, sorry, I'm, uh, I was distracted. Uh, I, yeah, because I just recently switched computers and I still haven't migrated my, uh, my Aku file over to the new one. So, I guess what I'm trying to ask is how many points do we have now? Uh, you should have, I believe, 159. Yeah. Because you started the same day I did. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything now. I'm just uh, wanting to check. Because, uh... I'll have to rebuild, not rebuild, but add on to the character if it's been... Okay, so that's nine power points, so I'm going to have to move somewhere. Okay. All right, yep, yeah, right now I'm at 150. You're doing great. That's not right. No, I need to open an Aku, four Aku. Okay, so no, I, I have uh, four, four to move. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so Lucas goes and buys some clothes with the black. Now you said nice clothes. Well, nice are the one I'm used to wearing. You know, street clothes that are probably Good, durable yeah. clothes. You know, some you know. Dickies pants and you know, a decent shirt, not the a, a decent jacket. Yeah. Uh, all right, you go. goes to the military uh, surplus. surplus store. Uh, actually, was contemplating going there as well and buying some stuff. Yeah, all right, it would make sense. I have. How how many points do you get for? Oops, for that. a PowerPoint you spend, you get five equipment points. All right, so. Not a whole lot listed in here as far as that's concerned, but so I uh, binoculars, camouflage clothing from the uh, surplus store. You could buy some of those little in-ear communicators. Comlink, yeah, we can do that. I need to buy four of them though, wouldn't I? Uh, I mean, if other people are spending points and they've got a point to spend on equipment. Uh, everybody can get some common equipment, including uh, a communicator. Uh, you can find a, you find a four pack. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't have points to spend right now, so eh, maybe somebody can uh, hook you up with one, and uh, you pay them back next time around. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What the hell's in a multi tool? Multi tools like a Leatherman. Or a badass Swiss Army knife. I don't need that because I already have it. Okay, the thing I was talking about, you were right, was a rebreather. Yeah, that's what they call it in here. Yeah. It's a small sum of Rebreather's the little one, scuba gear's the about big one. Two minutes worth of air. tool on there too so yeah uh, camo gear uh, binoculars comm links multi-tools scuba gear and that's that, that's use my point I got one more point left I can spend if that necessary for something else yeah I 
don't have basic clothes and stuff on here, so. Anyway, that's, um. And food. I will buy a bunch of food on the way back. Like non-perishable. You know, a bunch uh, of ramen, you know, some canned stuff, and, you know, maybe even, you know, some Chinese food from a local Chinese restaurant. All right. Not knowing what everybody wants, so it's kind of a mixed bag of uh, broccoli and beef and broccoli, chicken and broccoli, yeah. sweet and sour chicken, that kind of thing. Okay. Great. Uh, so Lucas comes back with food. And all and clean shaven and, and dressed here and, and like you barely recognize him because you've never seen him without the... Did you completely remove the beard or just I trim it down? Kept, I kept, think I kept the Fu... Well, no. We, yeah, I kept the Fu Manchu. Okay. So it's just all the scruffy sticking out's gone and it's just what's right here around the mouth and the mustache. Hair's trimmed up. Is this in the morning the next day? I mean, have to be because, you know, by the time we got done getting back here, everything had been closed. Yeah, you guys went back to the... Uh, subway station you slept uh and then he got up and went went out what was everybody else doing while he was doing that um well getting up um liam was probably trying to find a place that he could attempt practicing to see if he could swim well i mean there's a beach Sounds like a great plan. I would probably go with Liam then. Okay. Because in case he gets into trouble, I can definitely swim. Right. So, Liam, if you are going to spend your points on it, uh, then I will allow you to... Uh, it's movement that is the uh, environmental adaptation that would allow you not to have any penalties in water, but you just for swimming, you don't have to have that. Uh, uh, holding your breath uh, or not, not drowning would be one point, and then swim speed is uh, the, the rest of the the point uh cost if you want to get uh com length and stuff like that uh to go along with everybody else's mm -hmm. uh then you'll have to spend a point and you'll get five points of equipment a com link costs one point equipment point right we'll have to i don't want to take up everybody's time we can do that after game okay but, but my intention is we'll, i'll do something amphibious uh so you go out and um you do have to transform to do it uh but you motor along quite well using your tail um i don't know how fast because i don't know how many points you're putting into it but uh you're fine as long as the idea is that you're going to spend those points at some time between now and next session, we'll just kind of hand wave the specifics and say, you can swim. Perfect. Uh, all right. Aku. Mm, hardcore napping. Hardcore napping. So you came home, you slept about six solid hours, you got up, looked around, and said, nope, not today. Went back to sleep. Yep. All right, uh, so Lucas comes back around lunchtime with Chinese food and groceries uh, and shaving a haircut. Your bed. And, uh... Lucas, so what happened? I figured, you know, I had this card and... Check to see if it actually worked by going to get a haircut, and then it, did, it worked. So I went and got some clothes that didn't have fleas in them, 
And then I went and got some other gear that we could probably use. Sounds good. So when are we going to try to hit the flap? I was going to see if Aku, whenever Aku wakes up, to see if we can do like a satellite view to kind of get a good idea what the island looks like from above. And then a nighttime assault. You want me to go wake Aku up? I figured the smell of food would. I mean, I didn't realize she was going to sleep like for the last 18, 20 hours. But I guess Aku, she's... make a perception check. I guess she's worn out. Okay. Here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. Um. So okay. you're saying Aku has an iPhone? Huh? No, I'm saying that's a sleeping stock image. No. See. Uh. All right. So 22. You wake up to the smell of Chinese food. You know that smell of like the the fried chicken. Yeah, the I, chicken. Uh, yeah. I just wake up, stumble out, ignore everybody, and start looking for the chicken and broccoli. Find it, and yeah, just sit down <laughs> and start eating that. All right. So. Anybody have anything to say to Aku as they come out? Well, now that she's awake, um, Aku, I think you can get like a, a satellite view of the island that's out there and point out towards the bay. And she just like looks like looks up at you and she's like, "What the fresh hell happened to you?" <laughs> oh, fresh hell. I mean, I figured um, I'd get cleaned up. All right. Um, not saying uh, it doesn't work. I'm just saying I'm not used to it, and it's going to take me some time. Oh, but what were you saying about satellites or whatever? Yeah, I was wondering if uh, you could look up like a, a satellite picture of the island out there. Maybe see if there's a um, floor plan for the place, the facility out there on file at the town hall or what have you. I guess it's worth a look, but I mean, I'm going to warn you that uh, usually, like, people who run illicit businesses don't typically like to put their uh, blueprints online where anyone can access them. Yeah, but if the facility was already there prior to them using it, then it would still be on file somewhere, wouldn't it? Hmm. Wow, How old did the place look when we were there, is a question. Old. So, yeah, uh, it, it's been there for a while. At least it looked that way when we left. That's a fucking excellent point. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out. Google Map View. <laughs> Trying to find out exactly... Uh, you would guess it's probably from the early 1900s. The the architecture, the structure itself is from the early 1900s. Um, so in addition to looking at, uh, like, official city stuff, you might look at historical stuff as well. Uh, Aku, if you want to roll me a technology check, or if there's something else you think might be relevant... Um, no. Technology makes the most sense, I suppose. You have expertise tuberculosis hospitals? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna check, but no, no. It, okay. It appears I missed out on that particular life class. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you can find some historical documentation, uh, like old stuff that's been scanned in about <clears throat> when it opened, uh, what good work they were doing, uh, how it became a hellhole, uh, when it closed down. Um, and uh, there's a thing about when uh, a... Uh, a company uh, purchased the property in uh, 2000, say 2018. Company purchased the property. Uh, there are maps of the hospital, uh, like floor plans of the hospital that showed all the different rooms and the the operating suites and uh you know all the different like different types of therapy that they used uh you even see one of those like uh what do they call them urban explorers that went out there and videoed walking through the place oh nice um and uh you know it's it was pretty run down it was in pretty bad shape but the buildings all seemed at the time um, sound. But as far as like, oh, and here's a secret laboratory under the building. Uh, you don't you don't really find that. What about like uh, um, urban spelunkers finding like underground uh, waterways or access that way? Uh, you, other than that one video... Uh, you don't find uh, anything. There are some people uh, that uh, dove some of the shipwrecks in the area, but they don't mention anything specific about the island. Okay. I mean, they mentioned that it was near the island, uh, but there was nothing uh, specific about the island. They did not find any, like, big water tubes or anything like that sewer pipes or water feed pipes or anything like that. <clears throat> well, um, here's what I've uncovered in my research. This place yeah, is most like... likely haunted. Yes, this place is like haunted haunted. <laughs> but... Obviously, I'm not finding much of uh, much of anything on uh, illicit goings on. Uh, we do, if we do think this place is worth checking out, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Okay. I mean, so you want to go tonight? I mean, that makes the most sense uh, to me. Uh, at the very least, we've got a floor plan. Which means we won't be stumbling around in the dark, but, I mean, it doesn't really do much good. It's a, basically an abandoned hospital. Well, I mean, it's not abandoned anymore, but yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we could try to... None of this is very recent. It's all old stuff. So, if we want to see what it's what's actually going on, we have to go. Yeah. But, I mean, do you have an idea about the shape of the island? I mean... Yeah, we have the satellite view right there, so we'll use that. Yeah, I mean, okay. yes, but at the same time, this is just surface-level stuff. I mean, anybody can find this. We're gonna have to... Oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm just knowing, asking, where are we going to land? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we should definitely plan that out ahead of time. Uh... See, I'm wondering if it might not. I might be able to make something that would prevent us from being spotted by radar, at least for a short time. But as far as where we land, uh, pretty much anywhere on the island where they don't have a. Uh, where they don't have an actual dock, so to speak, as long as it's pretty close to the facility. And I'm going to 
look at the map and see if I can find a uh, a good place that does or that has a lot of uh, cover. Uh, Lucas, your idea was for us to swim over there, right? Yeah, I figured um, you know you or and um, like I think if Liam was able to figure out how to turn into a swim creature too, you can just like drag us in the water over there. To yeah. that secluded area, we can get off there and gear up and head in. I mean, do we, is there any gear you guys need? I'm good with seeing in the dark, so it's not an issue. Well, I am fine. With respect to everyone, I can't turn into a Loch Ness monster, so I'm probably just going to take a boat. Well, I mean, boats can be seen and heard. I just figured we'd take a rope and get one of the other two to pull us. Oh, and you bought scuba, or sorry, you bought air tanks and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I got some tanks right here. I mean, how far away, uh, or how far to the uh, island? I believe it's eight miles out. And if I'm not mistaken, Kenny can get us there in half an hour. Alright, I am going to take my dogs out. Alright. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to, you know, take an actual break this time, and we'll see you in about 10 minutes.
currently back. All right. So, we're going to head out to the island, as I understand it. Um, I think that's the game plan. Uh, before we do, um, Lucas is going to ask Aku what all that suit that she wears does for her. Mm, mainly just... Uh mainly just for protection and doesn't um, get in the way. Uh, raises my strength a little bit. Like, but not like physical strength, more like durability. Okay. Just curious. Figured uh, maybe it'd be a good idea to get a suit made, I guess, to how do I add it, it identity to now that I've cleaned myself up. I mean, I recommend it, but I might be uh, biased. So, when do you all plan on heading out to the island? What time? Um... I think 10 o'clock. Sure. A.M. or P.M.? PM. Night. P.M. All right. For the most part, I think most of us can actually see in the dark, so we don't need to worry about any kind of light as we sneak around. Yeah. So is there anything you want to do before you take off? Anybody else? Oh, Patrick, uh, I don't think we mentioned it, uh, but you gave Leo uh, your basically your drop email uh, address. Got it. So if he ever needs to get in touch with you, or when he gets settled and is able, he will get in touch with you and let you know how to contact him. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Um... So as of right now, once we get there, I'll put on the typical grease paint or whatever with the camos. Okay. So you... Um... Oh, um, during this all this prep time, uh, Lucas probably would notice that um, Eni is not eating. I mean, he just seems to pass the food. Um, but when time comes, yeah, he goes over to the water and gets ready to uh, pull him over to the island. Well, if Kenny's not eating, I will ask. I'm just not hungry. But you're always hungry. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know today I'm not all that hungry. I mean, it might be you know that you know I ate so much when I was in my swarm, you know when when I was swarming over the RV, but I'm just not hungry. Okay. Well, it's here if you do get hungry. Okay. But yeah, go and get ready to yep. transform yep. and pull them over. Get in the water, get in my scuba gear. And a rope, I guess, to Kenny. And I will turn into a Mosasaurus and pull them behind me. All right. So you cruise on out. You make it to a... Well, you make it to the island. Um, let see. Somebody give me either uh, perception or stealth to find a landing spot that is not too obvious. Fuck. What the hell's with the damn rolls? I have a 16 on my perception. But I'm also not the one steering. Right. But I mean, no, that's fine. I mean, 
you pointed it out. So. I don't know. 16 is good enough. And you wouldn't know. Yep, I know. So I will point what I think might be a good clear spot. Okay. And I will go up to that point. All right. Terrible guards. Uh, you manage to find a good spot. You land. You get on the beach. Uh, Kenny, what do you turn into on the land? When I, as I start coming out of the water, I'm turning into a raptor. Okay. Because I. It's one of my camouflage boards. I will put on the camo, camo gear myself. Put on the grease paint, but then of course I start to shift a little. So, right. And I will hide the uh, scuba gear in a bush off okay. the side somewhere. Do I? Never mind. I guess we need to make our way that direction. Everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Right. So we will sneak our way towards the hospital compound. All right. Uh, let me. And I will try to sniff ahead, I guess is the best way to put it. Use my ears and my sense of smell to see if I pick up any um, guards or what have you. You're still placing guards, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know where you guys were gonna go, so yeah. I did not have a map ready. Uh, uh, awesome, just in time. So you've gone across to the island, found yourself a nice secluded spot, came up on the land. Uh, Lucas hid the scuba gear that uh, he and Aku had to use to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you are now in the process of sneaking your way to the facility. Excellent. So, I have there the map. You guys have all kinds of crazy hearing and smell and stuff like that so okay. i'm not going to hide anything on the map uh the building has two doors one up here uh that's a big double door that's where they bring in and out large stuff yep right there and then we've got that one over there Yep, that's a smaller door. That's just a person door. Uh, both are being guarded. Uh, you can also see a couple guards just out. Uh, this one over here and this one over here, they seem to be doing a circuit. And then there's these two over here by this gate. Okay. 
because I had to step away, are we intending to continue more th tonight, or is this kind of our stopping point? Uh, I we can we can kind of move through this area if you guys want, or we could stop here and start with this next time. Uh, but or where once are we you, starting? Uh, outside the fence. Um, okay. It doesn't have to be at the gate. You guys could go over the side. That's fine. That's up to you. Um, but the fence is about 20 feet high. It doesn't look terribly difficult to climb, uh, but it is one of those wrought iron fences, so, uh, you know, you're visible climbing it. Right. If or you're, we can you leap know, over it. Visible. You can leap over it. Uh, if you can do that sort of thing. Okay. Um, whatever approach you want to make. And I, I will I will leave it to you guys. Do we want to tackle this portion uh, and start next time with you guys entering the building? Or do we want to stop now uh, a little early? I, I say let's stop now. Okay. Because this, I mean, once we get started in this, it's going to take time. Yeah. Mm. All right. So if you want to see what happens next, join us next week to see. Um, is this going to be a clusterfuck? Are we actually going to do a decent job? Are we going to free anybody? Are we going to find any information? Or are we just going to get captured and killed ourselves? Next week on the Cape City Chronicles. Yep, same... <laughs> yes. Same Cape City time, same Cape City channel. <laughs> we'll see you next Monday. Remember, we're in this adventure called Life Together, so please keep that golden rule in mind. Treat those around you the way you'd like to be treated yourself. And with that, have a good week. <laughs>